Hello everybody, it's Old Shaziz here. I'm going to take you on a uh, quick shaky journey and show you something. And uh, after you watch this video, see if you can figure out why it is that I'm showing you this. Anyway, what you're seeing right here is a, a Tesla coil that I made some time back. It's uh, not traditional, obviously. This wire right here is a steel multi-strand wire. And this wire down here, the brown wire, is steel multi-strand wire as well. Get you a good overhead view if I can. Do -do -do -do. You notice it's on a clock face, right? And uh, you notice the pattern. There's two pancake coil, star-shaped pancake coils on this thing. Uh, the gray one at the bottom is my driver coil. <coughs> and um, it is connected to one little LED then into a spark gap and then into a magnetic ballast which is that that end is connected right there to magnetic ballast and from there it jumps from this wire here over to the positive side of the uh, deal I have a 400 and an 800 uh, Volt uh, capacitor in series right there, and then uh, from there it goes down to the uh, eh, which side is this? Uh, this side right here would normally be connected to the earth ground, is connected. This is my secondary right here. From uh, that point, I have a ground wire that goes all the way down through here and out there out that door and then in my room and then out the window and down into a down into the dirt in a ground and uh, so that's my ground wire you see at the top my top load is nothing more than a three uh, aluminum disc and it's connected to the, uh, the secondary here and so while in this video you're not going to see tons of sparks or anything like that I do do want to uh, push a point out and hopefully you'll understand and uh, tell me what you think that my point of this video was the uh, brown coil star shaped coil over here is merely connected to one LED that's it <clears throat> all right now my my driver I even have a piece of an old fluorescent bulb here my driver is this nifty uh, igniter for a barbecue and it runs off of a uh, Dollar General Store heavy duty AAA battery 1.5 volts All right, so I pulled me a, a brand new one out right here and I'll put that in there in a second but uh, this is my driver coil right here this is this ignition starter it's running through all that and going into that coil now hopefully I didn't make you too dizzy with that whole trip and we will begin to film Damn this light here I guess I'll go ahead and just leave that one there on for the moment <coughs> but anyway uh, 1.5 volts so it takes to run it to get my battery stuck up in there putting a fresh battery in I don't need that silver ring obviously okay now let me see here all right I gotta watch what I touch on here because I don't want to get want to get zapped battery in right apparently not maybe I got a hold of a dead battery uh oh got something grounded somewhere shouldn't be try it again yay there we go I, I don't know if you can see that or not how bright it is in this room If you can see over here that LED lighting up from the uh, second primary which uh, 
my intentions are I'm going to hook a dual spark gap system on there and see what happens whenever I fire up the uh, both primers at the same time bouncing off of each other. But either way, absolutely no magnet wire. It's just nothing but steel wire, multi-strand right there. You can see uh, there's a arc coming off of that coil right through that uh, insulation. And I found that the hard way. <laughs> Trying to hold this button down at the same time. <clears throat> but I'd say it's pretty pretty interesting for uh, a 1.5 volt battery. Let me dim that light over there and see if I can do this in the dark. <laughs> <coughs> That's usually when something goes wrong. Touch the wrong thing in the dark. Excuse me. Doggone weather change is going on. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe you can see that or not. Yeah, that's a little better. But you get you get some wireless, not just not as uh, as much as you would be a high powered. But either way, you do get the wireless pulse out of it. And uh, I thought that was pretty interesting that uh, 1.5 volts was enough. I don't know what the smallest that anybody's ever done it with, but this one here is being done with a. Uh, I need to wire a switch to that instead of having to hold down that button. This one here is being done with a uh, little ignition starter for a. Uh, uh, propane uh, gas uh, grill, barbecue grill. So I'm sure you can get a hold of some of these. I don't know what they would cost to buy them brand new, but by the way, it's got a pretty good little pretty good little boost right there. If person wanted to, you could actually make a uh, little miniature uh, stun gun or a taser kind of thing out of, uh, <laughs> out of this unit, because I accidentally uh, Shocked myself up pretty good. A decent capacitor bank, and you could actually get this thing to pulse a lot harder than what it is. And if you had enough strength to hold that button in long enough, you wouldn't keep doing what I'm doing. Do 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 do. do. Try that hand. I grabbed, like I said, ah, see, that's it. <laughs> Those are the contacts right there. There's two of them coming out. For to, to run two separate igniters but you can see that that arced across to my hand and I've been shot so many times I think I could actually take a, a full blown taser hit and not, not be bothered by it and get something shortened out there we go yay ow yeah, I'll take one for the team. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, give you one last look at it real quick. Hope you like the video, folks. Got more cool stuff on the way. Let me uh, flip on that overhead light. Get a better lighting on there. Like I said, these are magnetic ballasts. Yeah, you can't see it. Um, if you need the numbers, I'll track them down for you. And uh, these are just some old capacitors I had laying around. I got running series with some alligator clips on there. And this is the. Er, I don't think you can get the doggone words in there. This is the igniter. Battery operated. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it, folks. Got, had a little bit of wireless energy uh, with a 1.5 volt Tesla coil. You can see uh, the clock pattern on there. Uh, the star shaped coil and such. Two of them for the primaries. And all of it's steel wire, multi strand. <clears throat> see if you can guess why it is that uh, I even bothered with this video. So uh, I think when you figure it out, you'll like it. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. Take care.